Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jim here. Reports claim the Assad regime has used barrel bombs and attacked hospitals in rebel-held eastern Ghouta, which is near Damascus, folks. Now, more than 100 people have been killed and hundreds wounded on a day of hysterical violence in the opposition-controlled enclave of eastern Ghouta in Syria. And the surge in the killing came amid reports of an impending regime incursion into the area outside Damascus, which is home to 400,000 civilians. More than 700 people have been killed in three months, according to local counts, not including the deaths in the last week. Now, four hospitals were also bombed on Monday in eastern Ghouta, which once was the breadbasket of Damascus, but has been under siege, now that's under siege for years, by the government of Bashar al-Assad. Now, the death toll of at least 110 in a single day by local counts encapsulated the un bridled violence of the war in Syria. After seven years and interventions by regional and global powers, the humanitarian crisis has heightened instead of abating as forces loyal to Assad's regime and his Russian and Iranian backers seek an outright military victory instead of a negotiated political settlement. And what you have here first and foremost, folks, is this proxy war, again, between the United States, NATO, you could say, and Russian forces, the United States backing the Syrian rebels in a plan to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. You have Russia and Iran backing Bashar al-Assad. Uh, and this all started over a quote-unquote fight over ISIS, of all things. Also, remember, Damascus, huge in biblical prophecy. Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1 says that Damascus will be a ruinous heap. It will seek to exist. That has not happened yet, folks, but it looks like it is well on its way to happening. This is something we truly need to watch. You know, you may be more into American-centric reporting. What's going on in America? Well, we know what's going on in America. A whole lot of political bullcrap here. This is stuff that will affect your life. It may not be doing so today, but at any moment, folks, this could light up into something between Israel, Iran, Russia, the United States, uh, Syria. This is a hotbed right here, folks, and I just want to bring this stuff to your attention. Very important. I will leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. Please check out the links below this video, folks. I have four of them. To books of mine, to music, to a free read, to PayPal. I would greatly appreciate it, folks. And most of all, I want to remind you, I must continue to remind you, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind. It comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.